I had a um, uh, very uh, thorough and constructive meeting with uh, Mr. Kimchi um, again. We um, we are now uh, just in the middle of the six uh, uh, intensified meetings in July. Uh, three have been done, three to go, first one tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be particularly on, uh, on issues of uh, uh, governance and power sharing uh, and some uh, some outstanding issues that I hope the leader will can can move forward on. Uh, over the last weeks, we've had a remarkable commitment from both sides. Uh, we've had uh, an interesting and dramatic development over the last week, of course, with the developments in Turkey. So I spoke to both leaders also about that. But uh, my sense is very strong that both leaders remain uh, very substantively committed, maybe more than ever before, to solving this because this is the chance for Cyprus to really be masters of its own house and for the Turkish Cypriots and the Greek Cypriots to come together in a bicycle bicommunal federation in line with European principles, which is what we're working for. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is uh, nothing in this development that suggests that the support from abroad is any less than it has been. Actually, we've got confirmations of that, that the guarantor powers remain supportive and, and, uh, and committed to the process. But I think the developments of the, of the last week has been a, uh, a stark reminder of the fact that uh, a benign environment may not always be there. And uh, it's important to grasp the momentum when you have it. I say you, all separates, it's not only for the leaders, but of course led by the two leaders. And um, if we continue to work on the way we've been doing during July and bring that into August and September, I think we might be in a good spot. I will go to, on Saturday I'll fly to New York because on Monday we have uh, the meeting of the Security Council where both Elizabeth Behar, the SRSG of Emphasis and I will both brief uh, developments in our two missions and uh, in the Cyprus talks. Um, I'm uh, confident that there will be a lot of interest uh, among the Security Council, both of developments in the talks themselves and also in the surrounding environment. So we will have a, a good discussion on that with the Council. I hope that we will come out of that meeting with the reconfirmation of the unanimous support of the entire UN Security Council as we have had so far, uh, because that is uh, always important, but maybe particularly important in the times that we are in right now. What do you think about the, the pilot cop in Turkey? Do you think about uh, it's going to affect the uh, uh, Cyprus negotiations? Well, of course, we are all following closely what is happening in Turkey these days. But let me first say that uh, the UN, through its Secretary General, came out very clearly on Friday night underlining that the military interference in politics of any state is unacceptable. He has also been underlining the importance of adherence to you know, basic freedoms and, and rule of law. Um, we have heard messages from Ankara over the last days, uh, including in the visit uh, of the Deputy Prime Minister yesterday of a strong continuous support from Turkey. I have heard nothing to the opposite, so I think the commitment is still there. Uh, so, uh, so to the best of my knowledge, there is nothing in this situation that leads to any delay or postponement of Cyprus talks, and this is also the view of both leaders. I met Akinci right now and Anastasiades earlier today, and they are in full agreement about that. We will meet tomorrow as planned and continue as planned. But I want to reiterate that I have been saying many times, including to all of you, that if a crisis would occur in this phase of talks, I do not think that it will happen inside the talks. It's more likely that an external shock will make the talks difficult. It did not happen this time, but it's a reminder of uh, a big world out there that is not always cooperative and yet another argument that we should not waste time but move quickly and solidly and credibly in the right direction. Thank you. In, the right of, Thank you. in the light of your last words, uh, what are you going to say uh, on the Secretary? The council on Monday. Well, I will honestly portray. Uh, first, I will commend the leaders for their strong and continued commitment to finding a solution. I will, of course, make reference to their their joint statement from uh, 15th of May, where they uh, reinforce their shared ambition 
uh, to work tirelessly to achieve a settlement this year. Um, I will, uh, I will uh, inform the Council where we have made progress, but also on some of the outstanding issues and, uh, and try to strike the right balance between uh, sharing you know, everything that has happened since I last briefed them in January without in any way uh, underplaying that we still have uh, large uh, uh, open issues. And then uh, we will talk about the uh, international environment and I think I will say something like what I just told you, that um, despite of uh, regional turbulence, I feel that the commitment and support of the, the relevant neighboring countries is still there. And I think it's in the interest of the neighboring countries, particularly the guarantor countries, to see this uh, issue solved. It's been here for uh, way too many years, and I think there are more advantages than to this than disadvantages uh, to uh, everyone, including the guarantor powers, to help overcome this long-standing issue. And uh, so far, we felt that we have that support. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thanks.